We still have many banks many more banks to go and many more LLCs to siphon through. But right now, the number's up to $10 million. So we proved that Joe Biden was dishonest about his family receiving money from China. We also proved that uh, the media has not been reporting this correctly, as you could imagine, Sean. They said that none of these transactions ever occurred while Joe Biden was in public office. We just proved that was false as well. Most of these shell companies were created when Joe Biden was vice president. And when you got to the $1 million from Romania, it was filtered and laundered, however you want to describe it, down to the Bidens in 17 payments. 16 of the 17 payments from uh, the, the corrupt uh, person in Romania, the foreign national in Romania, happened while Joe Biden was vice president and visiting Romania and in charge of things like foreign aid for the Obama administration. So the, the level of public corruption that we talked about today was breathtaking. And the fact that, uh, as you mentioned, Sean, the mainstream media, for the most part, didn't cover it at all and said covered the George Santos stuff it is further proof that this media is, is covering for Joe Biden. Right. They are covering for public corruption at the highest levels in a manner we've never seen in the history of our country. All right, so you talk